So now we're going to make a, uh, a horizontal navigation example for you. Just a simple one. Uh, navigation you'll see uh, on any website with, would possibly look like this to some degree. Um, it's basically a way to get from the index page, which is the home page. They call it index because uh, it indexes all the other pages. So it's usually called index.html. Um, go ahead and make a folder for this if you want. Um, I like to folder out all my uh, like video tutorial recreations or uh, separate assignments. That way I have everything for that assignment in a folder. Makes it easier to, uh, to work with and cleans up and you're organized. So I grabbed my template. I went File, uh, Save As. I saved my template as horizontalnav.html. I put my name and the name horizontal nav, or you could put the period too if you wanted. Um, I have everything for my web page all set to go without anything inside the body. That's how I always want you to start. Please don't grab something old and then try to clean it up or change it. Go ahead and just start from new. You're just learning. So this is how you learn it is by doing it. So enough on that. We're going to actually create an unordered list using an, LI, an UL tag for unordered list and then a list item uh, within the unordered list uh, li and then inside of the list item we're gonna have an a tag so and that's gonna make things clickable each list item will be clickable then so let's do the HTML first like we always do I'm gonna say ul hey computer I wanna make an unordered list and then I'm gonna start doing my li tags for the list items and again I'm gonna do one and then copy and paste it and change it around so I'm gonna go li and now uh, something different, we're going to put the A tag inside of the list item. We're going to basically nest an A tag inside the list item to make it clickable. So we're going to go A and then a space and the word ref. And so, and then an equal sign. And then inside quotation marks, this is where you would tell it to go once we click this link. So it could go to yahoo.com, it could go to another web page. Uh, let's say we had an about me.html page. We put it in there. So we click this link eventually, if it had words, it would take us there. So that's how we're going to do it eventually later on. But right now we're going to put the number sign inside the quotation mark. So as, I, as you can see, I have a number sign inside the quotation mark, and then I have a closing angle bracket. And now we're going to put the words that are, going to, that are going to be clickable and viewable. So we're going to say link one. And then we're going to close off the A tag. Notice I don't have to close off and use the word ref. That's an attribute of this tag A. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is close off the LI tag. Okay. So again, I have one completely done. I have a list item tag open and closed with an A tag inside of it. And these are the, this is the word that's going to be clickable. Uh, and eventually, if we put something here, it would take us there. Okay? So now we have one done. You can highlight that, copy it, put your cursor down there, paste it, and keep pasting and hitting the return key. Did some extra spaces there. Let's do five. And we're going to change these around. We're going to say link one, link three, link four, link five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, I have not closed my UL tag. So you, you want to remember to do that up front if you want. Just keep in mind you have to do that or your coding's not going to work. So I've told the computer I want to make an unordered list. I've created e each list item that happens to have an A tag inside of it. I've copied five of those. I've changed them around. And I've closed off the UL. Okay? So we're done with the HTML. Now we're going to have fun. And we're going to talk to each one of these tags, the UL, the LI, and the A, and design them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to the UL Hey, computer, we have a UL tag down there, and this is what we want to do. And a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to say 
Uh, let me show you what this looks like, first of all. Here, let me open it with uh, Chrome. So that's what it looks like right now, pretty bad. Okay, and we're gonna change that around. First thing we're gonna do is take away these dots, these darn default dots that show up on a vertical list that typically you do not want. So there's one line of code we're gonna do, and we're gonna say list-style colon none. List-style colon none with a semicolon at the end and the line. And that one line is gonna take away our dots, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do, oops, hit the return key, go in between the curly brackets, and we're gonna say um, padding, sorry, boy, there we go, padding, zero. So there's gonna be empty room inside the unordered list. The next thing we're gonna do is give it a margin around it of 20 pixels. Okay, you won't really see that, but it's going to create empty space outside of the nav. Again, the margin is dealing with the outside of the element. The padding is dealing with the space inside the element. Okay, space inside the element, space outside the element. Okay, so we are done with that, believe it or not. The next thing we're going to do is talk to the li tag, and this one line is gonna make it go horizontal. So again, we're gonna to talk to this list item down here, and in between the curly brackets, we're gonna say display colon inline, and save it, and you'll see with that one line of code, it made it go horizontal. It still looks pretty bad, but it made it go horizontal. So display colon inline to the list item will make your uh, unordered list go horizontal, okay? Now here's the big one. We're gonna to talk to this A tag. We don't have to talk to the A ref, because that's the ref is just an attribute and kind of an extra add-on of what we can do to this A tag. So we're just gonna to talk to the A tag. Okay, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a lot. We're gonna say text dash de decoration none. And what that line's gonna do, text dash, dash decoration none is gonna take away those darn default underlines. So, maybe I didn't save it here. Let me try to reload it. Okay, I guess I didn't save it. Oh, yeah. Let me save it. There we go. So you gotta wanna keep, keep remembering to save and then updating. So it took away that underline. Now we're gonna deal with the sizing of the areas mainly with the a tag so i'm going to say padding and i'm going to give it two numbers for top and bottom let's go 7px on the top and the bottom and then let's go 17px on the right and the left and give it some space okay so again because i gave it two numbers the computer recognizes that inside the a tag I'm creating empty space of seven pixels on either the, the top and the bottom, and also 17 pixels on the left and the right. Kind of free up some empty space around those words. Okay, now to see it, I'm gonna give it a background color, and I'm gonna go background, colon, and the number sign. I'm gonna go over to our friends at um, Color Lovers, and let's go ahead and grab this right here. And I'm gonna make this the background color for the A tag. And I'll reload it. And see now it's starting to show up. Okay, see my hand, just because we have the A tag, see my mouse turned into a hand, okay? So let's, let's uh, make this look pretty even more. Um, Let's go ahead and add a width to each of the A tags. We're gonna say width colon 100px, okay? And then we're gonna um, align the text in the center. So 
hasn't changed much, but now um, let's see. Let me okay, so what we're going to do is let's keep that at a hundred. Now the big thing we're going to do is you see the spacing. You see the spacing here, little empty spaces here. Let's go ahead and tighten that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to say float left. And what that's going to do is it's going to float each of our A tags to the left and thus take care of that empty space. OK? So here they are side by side. OK? All right. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change um, the color of the text. And I'm going to go back to our palette. And grab a hexadecimal color number. Make sure I have a semicolon at the end of the line. Save it. Refresh it, and they've changed color. Now they're pretty small, so let's let's uh, let's work on that font size of the a tag. And let me do this too. I want to make instead of seven, let's go with maybe twelve and see how that works. And then let me change the font dash size of the text. Um, we can use points if we want. Let me try twelve. Maybe, maybe bigger. Let's try that. Okay. Now we can also, if you look at the, the, the fonts, um, we can also bold them too. So to bold text, you're going to say um, font dash weight bold. And it makes them a little bit bold, see? Now, here's the thing. If I mouse over it, I can't tell when I'm clicking kind of link one and link two. See how they're all kind of separate here? I mean, they're all together, excuse me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the look. When my mouse mouses over and turns into a hand on the link, I'm going to change the color of the text and the background color during that process and that's called hover that's the hover state of the a tag there are actually three states of the a tag really only two we'll work with is the a which is what it looks like normally and then the hover which is when you mouse over and your mouse turns into a hand you can change the look of that link with the a tag so I'm gonna go into our coding here and again I'm, I'm still working in between the style tags and I'm gonna say a colon hover and that's the state of the a tag that I'm going to change. I'm going to change the background color and a number sign. And then let me go and save it. Command S. Let me go back to our thing here. And I'll do something a little drastic. And I'll do that. Now we have to change the the uh, the text color, but you'll see. Now I haven't changed the text color on the hover state yet, but you'll see now you can see the specific areas of that link. Okay, and it changes the look on the hover state. So let me go back and um, let me get the background color. Uh, where's it at right here? Yeah, I'll just I'll grab this whole line here. Oh, I just need, sorry, I just need this number sign right here, and I'm gonna go color again. This is the the when you say color, that's the color of the text. I'm gonna paste what I just copied up top there, and it should kind of just switch the colors now. So there. So it just switches 
uh, the color of the text normally and the background color, they just switch. So now, now the background color that was there is now the color of the text. And the color of the text has now become the background color. So, okay. So there you go. Kind of nice and neat. Uh, I like the way that float works in the fact that it really just uh, makes those A tags nice and tight together on that horizontal plane. And uh, you've created a fairly good looking link system. Thanks.